DoorDash. <laughs> Speaking of uh, fast food here. Did um, you skip a story? Yeah. The other one was actually um, pretty interesting, but it's very like, Do it's it. about us actually. Do it. Oh, okay. Car thieves are using air tags to track vehicles. I read about this. You did? Yeah. Do you know where? Yeah, here locally. Yeah, York Region. York Region. York Regional Police said at least five vehicles have been targeted by car thieves who used Apple's item track. Of course, when they first came out, we imagined they could be used for nefarious reasons. Mm -hmm. Now we have evidence right around the corner. Who knows? Maybe you maybe you already got these planted all over you, Will. You're in York. You're a guy in York Region. Yeah, I planted. You're in there. Hey, it's you're not the doing the planting. You can't <laughs> admit to something like that. It's not even true. <laughs> All right, so scroll, no, no. scroll down. We'll do the top paragraph here. Apple released the air tag in, yep, to aid in tracking keys, luggage, and so on. Since September 2021, officers have investigated five incidents where suspects have placed small tracking devices on high-end vehicles so they can later locate and steal them. Mm -hmm. Brand name air tags are placed in out-of-sight areas on the target vehicles when they are parked in public, area, uh, public places like malls or parking lots. Then thieves track the targeted vehicle to the victim's residence where they, they are stolen from the driveway. Oh, man. That's yeah. rough. I mean, with a car, it's, there's so many little compartments mm -hmm. that you never check, like under your car. Yeah, you could right? just put a little Velcro on the back of it. Yeah, just some duct tape. A little stick, a little sticker, slap it in there, and you're good to go. So do they say, okay, here's some, here's some video of it happening. Wow. Just find out where you live. Find out your schedule. Mm, you know, it's... Uh, easy, Will. Finding out schedules. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I know. It makes uh, sense. It makes sense. And here's a... I mean, you had to... just taken off with... You, you uh, had to with, the, with Alexis there. You had to imagine this type of thing could take place. These are so easy to use. And I would hope that there's some sort of feature in there to detect this type of behavior that they can look at the trends uh, around how this operates like uh if there's a way to tell see this was the problem when it originally came out was okay if you're on an iphone it will tell you that there is an unknown air tag nearby so you would sit in your car and your phone would alert you mm -hmm. but we were saying okay what if you don't have an iphone and then you're not getting that notification. So if there right. was some cross-platform way you could know or some sort of an app or just something so that the person knew, hey, I don't have an AirTag. Why is it? Why is there one being mm -hmm. identified in, in my car at the moment? Or if on Apple's end, they could see, all right, this was just placed into a vehicle that it's never been in before. I don't know. It's very difficult stuff to figure out. But ideally, you would just have that work on Android exactly the same way that it does on iOS, that a warning could actually be sent. Yeah, I feel like it's on Apple. I think there's a very ethical thing that he, they need to do. Yeah, I just, I'm Some starting sort of to think, I'm trying Android. to think about it from a software perspective. Like they, technically? They, they don't have those type about... of permissions on Android. Right. right. Without somebody opting into it. So it might have to be a third party preemptive app that somebody who thought they were a target could install from Apple, mm -hmm. which would then open up the necessary permissions to identify such a thing taking place. Yeah. Or maybe cars. Imagine if cars in the future had some sort of just scans check system where yeah. it's like, is there a tra an unknown tracker in the car? It's all very interesting, but yeah, right around the corner, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Air tags are designed to, uh, to start issuing the warning sometime between eight and 24 hours after being separated from their owner leaving plenty of time for the car thief. So e even if the car thief had an iPhone, typically those warnings, I guess, are not being spit out in time. Right. They're just waiting for that vehicle to be in a secluded area where they can steal it. York Regional Police recommend storing cars in garages, purchasing steering wheel locks. Remember that? The, yes. Uh, the club? Yes. Can you bring up a club right now? I haven't seen the club in forever. When... When we were youngsters on TV, they purchased all the advertising. This company, yes. Well, I mean, that's like some sort of knockoff with a with a, a passcode. But I'm looking for the original, the club. They still sell it, seventy three ninety nine Canadian dollars, Canadian <laughs> Tire. Yeah. Damn, you don't want your stuff stolen. 
I don't think that will work on the on the yoke. No. On the yoke on the on the Model S. No, it wouldn't, eh? Yeah. Well, I mean, Tesla has cameras. Sentry sentry mode and yeah yeah they're typically pretty tough to steal 